Someday we'll get paid for this. Hello, friends. AP Ticker here with a delicious piggy of the week. Recently, we reported on the chaos at Bartram, one of Philly's low-performing high schools. You see, the one-two punch of Governor Corbett's education cuts and the School Reform Committee's decision to fire thousands of staff have left Bartram even more chaotic than ever, resulting in a safety officer getting his head caved in in March by a feral child. It's part of a planned strategy to defund public schools, say public school advocates. Keep cutting the education budget. Close the schools that don't make the grade, funnel the money and students to unaccountable charter schools, and watch the money roll right in. But it was never articulated that way specifically. The school reform movement likes to couch their goal in bureaucratic doublespeak and, well, pure BS. That all changed last week when Mark Gleason, the baby-faced, cherub-cheeked CEO of the Philadelphia School Partnership and one of the loudest advocates of reform, let the cat out of the bag at the American Educational Research Association conference here in Philly. Gleason believes that public education should be treated like a Wall Street stock portfolio. So what do you do with an underperforming school filled with underperforming kids? Um, you keep dumping the losers. Uh, and uh, over time, you create a higher bar for what, what, what we expect of our schools. You close the lowest performers and dump the losers. Isn't it nice to know that the guy who wants to fix the schools thinks your kids are worthless penny stocks? The fact that people like Gleason desperately want to ignore, need to ignore, is that those lower performing loser schools are the ones teaching the kids with the highest needs. Kids from our poorest neighborhoods who have no structure at home. Kids from immigrant families who, who don't speak English. They're circling the drain, not because the schools or the teachers or the students are losers, but because the state had shortchanged Philly schools for decades, even before Corbett made that final flush. So, congratulations to you, Mark Gleason. You are our piggy of the week. If anyone's a loser, it's you. I'm A.P. Ticker, and I'm a winner at the game of life. Be a winner at the game of life. Find a job. Have money, baby. Get money. Have a baby.